hide. So I am doing this video not only with all the other amazing YouTube women, I think there is 32 of us doing this huge stay home for the holidays collab. Hi. I am not only doing it with them, but I am doing this collab with my YouTube bestie, my YouTube bestie Amethyst, and I decided to do Operation Christmas Child as a special part of this huge collab because we both found out about it this year and we just thought it would be a great thing to do to bring awareness to this great cause and to do it together. As moms, you never want to think of a child in need ever. And Amethyst and I just decided that this would be a great thing for us to like do a collab within our huge collab during the holidays if you are able to give back. It's just great. It's, it, it makes your heart feel good and I hope and pray that if we are ever in need, if my children are ever in need, that there is somebody out there in the world that will give back to them. So I am so happy to be able to do this little collab with my YouTube bestie Amethyst and also be sure to go and watch her video. She I do know that one of her boxes for sure is for a little girl. So I'm excited to see what she got to give to the Operation Christmas Child. And um, yeah, I just I just feel super happy to be able to do this this year. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mia. I'm so happy you found me. This is very dear to my heart and I love this cause. We do it through our church and it's called Operation Christmas Child and basically you adopt a child or two or 50 or as many as you can, as many as you want to and you fill a shoebox full of things so that way they have a gift to open on Christmas with things that they need and also a wow gift, a gift that they can enjoy and be surprised with and it's just such a good cause. I wish I would have known about it sooner so I could have done this every year. I'm glad I found out this year and I'm able to do it. So basically, you fill this shoebox up and then ours, with ours, I am dropping it off. It has to be dropped off at our church on November 22nd so that way they can ship them and mail them to different countries and different places where hopefully we make a difference in a child's life. And I do know that some churches are doing it online because of what's going on in the world right now and you're able to do it online and just make a donation and they put the boxes together. I do know of another church that I participate in that is doing it that way. So you could just go online and search for Operation Christmas Child and see if any of your churches do it or if you just want to do it online yourself. I think it's a wonderful cause and it will put a smile on a child's life and make a difference to them. So we chose, you can adopt a boy or a girl and they give you a label. You can follow it to its destination, I think. But you choose a boy or a girl, and then you can choose the age. It's two to four, five to nine, or 10 to 14. I chose two to four because I do want to put this together with Enzo and hopefully teach him that the holidays are not just about receiving gifts, and it's not just about getting, it's about giving also and hopefully teaching him that he's very lucky and blessed and to give back to other children his age and put a smile on their face. I just think it's a great teaching opportunity and it will make a difference in a child's life. It makes you feel good. There's, it's like a win-win. They do provide you with a list of things that are suitable to put in the box. 
be sure to check the rules on that. I know with our church, they didn't want anything, any food items, anything that's perishable, no candy, nothing like that. And this is all stuff from the Dollar Tree, so super affordable. Um, it doesn't break the bank to help out another family, another child. I got two Paw Patrol coloring books. These were such a good find at the Dollar Tree. Then I found these Crayola wood paint toys. Uh, it, you build it into a little dinosaur and it's super easy to build. I looked at the back, it's clear in the back. It's just two pieces, you build it and then they'll paint it. And I thought that was a fun activity. I know it's a Christmas box, but they're opening it on Christmas, so I didn't want to get Christmas themes. I didn't know if they would be as excited for those as opposed to like gifts that they know, like Paw Patrol and Crayola, uh, just things that they knew. I found these Crayola paint things, and these are spaceships, and I got two of the same. I tried to get two of the same. I got them. Paw Patrol stickers and it has like a little frame it's just a little activity for them and it kind of went with the and it kind of went with the coloring books so I thought that was cute on the list of suggested items it was they had hygiene items like toothbrushes and hairbrushes stuff like that so I got them each a Spider-Man toothbrush and it comes with toothpaste and like a ring. It's super cute for boys. The Dollar Tree came through and I found these cute little Pixar Disney, Disney Pixar Buzz toys, little figurines. So I thought those were really cute. I grabbed them and that was on theme with the crayons that I got them. They're Disney Pixar Toy Story crayons. I tried to stick with the theme. The list suggested some school items, so I got them pencils, and it did. The list also suggested to be sure to include sharpeners if you gave pencils. So I found these cute little Dr. Seuss sharp sharpeners, and they go with the Dr. Seuss pencils, and they're blue. So. I hope the boys like them. And then for their wow gift, I decided to pick up these cars. And I have to show you fast before my kids see them. But my boys who are three and one are obsessed with cars. So I know that for this box, the boys will hopefully be obsessed with cars too. And it, it was one of the suggested wow items for a boy. It was a car or a ball with a pump because you have to make sure it fits in the box or for a girl it was doll a doll or something so i went with the car and i got them each cars and the doors open so i hope they're really surprised with that and that i actually picked up at michael's but everything else was from the dollar store and i just hope that they're so excited when they open it Okay, so we're, do you know why we're building these boxes? For the, yeah, we're showing them that we're building these boxes for kids that don't have things. So we're gonna put together this box and then we're gonna give it to two bo little boys who don't have presents. Oh, you, baby and papa? Um, these are for other kids on Christmas. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, is that a car? Yeah. Okay. Okay, get get the book. We're gonna you're gonna put in your box when I when I put in my box, okay? I'm gonna put the coloring book. Yeah, yeah. And one one for ours. And then the stickers. Yeah. Okay. Where's the stickers? In the car. Yeah. Okay, do the stickers first. And then the paint. Yeah, who needs it? Paint. 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 Paint for Mama. Oh, we're going to give it to the little boy. He likes it. Okay? Yeah, yeah he likes that. 
Can you put the pencils in? Oh, good job, Leo. Good job. Here, put the pencils in. Do we have more? Yeah. No, don't touch that. Then we have, you have to put the toothbrush. Toothbrush. Good job, Booker. Good job. And the sharpener. Cat in the hat sharpener. We got one in one. Yeah? What about Buzz? They're gonna like the Buzz. Put one in your box. One of the buzzes in my box. Okay, can you put that in there, Leo? Put that in. Yeah. Don't you want We ended up switching up the other cars that I got for these cars. For the cars. Yeah. Because it's uh, the Disney Pixar. And these actually change color in water. Good job. So I thought these would be better yeah, for them, fun. more exciting. The other ones weren't in the package and I don't know, I just thought these were more of a wow gift. So we're switching those out. After I filmed what I had gotten from the Dollar Tree and Michael's was for that one car, I felt like it wasn't enough. I don't know, it was just in my head and I felt called upon my heart to give more. To fill up this box like to the absolute brim. So this is the box now and if you can see there is still room. Like it's a lot of stuff but I can still fit more stuff. So I went and did a dry up to Target and I go chose two of these water bottles because I read that um, in some countries it's hard to get water so it's easier for them to have a water bottle. I have a three-year-old and a one-year-old so they love these type of water bottles and I couldn't find two of the same but I got PJ Masks, PJ Masks and um, Paw Patrol. So we got that and then I got them each a Spider-Man doll. In regards to the action figure, I did have to like sit and think because I I almost got them a Woody doll or what were the other ones? Like Captain America and stuff. But I wanted to be racially inclusive and most of them they're either, you know, superheroes. They're 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 like a race. So I wanted to make sure that whatever little boy gets this, that they can feel like they're represented. And Spider-Man is all covered up so he can be literally whatever you want him to be. Those are the two extra things that I got to fit in the box. And now it is completely filled and I'm really excited for them to open it. Um, I'm excited to do this. It just was a great thing to do with my kids. They were excited and I, next year, I hope I can make like 10 boxes. My goal is to do more and more every year. So this year I was able to do two and hopefully next year I'm able to do five or 10 or 20. We'll see where I'm at next year. And those are our boxes. Ooh, Ooh is that a good box? Is that a good gift? Is that a good price for a little boy? Good job. He's gonna like that? Oh, I'm so glad. Is he gonna like that, Leo? Oh, good job. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Call you later. Give kisses, Leo. Oh, good job. <laughs>